I ain't do one of these in a while. Stay. All right, let's go get the mail, guys. My neighbors are out here. They're gonna look at me funny because I'm filming. Oh no. If it's not in this mailbox, I'm gonna be highly upset. Because I just saw the mail truck lady. I know it's a lady. Better be in here. Yo, what? What the f is this? What the f is this? Okay, guys. We're just stalking my neighbor till he leaves so I can film this video. Oh, I think he's gone. Because, you know, I can't go outside and be all flamboyantly retarded like I normally am. I'm gonna wait for this man to leave. Okay, I think we're good. If he comes back outside, when I go out there, <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. Let's try this again, buddy. Wasn't here yesterday. It, it's gonna be here today. Do, 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 do. Yo, they're having a little gang gang family meetup. When did both of my neighbor's cars turn red? What the f- Here we go. Please, 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 please be in here. Please. Oh, <gasps> yes! And I am so excited because I found my scissors. I had lost them for so long and I found my scissors. I'm so hyped right now. As I mark out my name and address with this really terrible marker. Okay, who cares? This is coming from a company called Ravi Sauce. This package is a lot bigger than I expected it to. And it feels like there's some kind of clothing item inside. So let's get into this thing. So excited to have my scissors back. Oh, how I've missed you. Oh, that feels good. That feels real good. By the way, guys, I want you to tell me in the comments below if you like this style, my old style of doing unboxings where I like, you know, do it in my, my kitchen and I go outside to the mailbox and stuff and all that, or you like my new style where I kind of do it on my desk and, you know, it's just a different style. Tell me which one you like. Wow, it is a t-shirt. Okay. Let's just pull out the contents. There's nothing else in here. Throw that to the side. I wanna bust out this t-shirt and just let everything else fall. Okay, you ready? <gasps> Boom! Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Look at that. Oh, there goes the deck. Look at that. Ravi. That's so awesome. See, not enough fingerboard companies have uh, merchandise, like t-shirts and stuff like that. And for a small brand like Ravi Sauce to do it, that's just really cool. Like, that's really, really unique, and I really like that a lot. And then, <laughs> let's, let's look at this packaging. Okay, first of all, this sticker. Very nice sticker. I like that a lot. Super, super classic. And then you got the packaging, which is super unique. Kind of reminds me of Catfish Barbecue. But they have a ravioli, you know, because it's ravi sauce, right? So, yeah, this is a really, really cool packaging. All right, I see the deck from the side. No way, dude! Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Oh my god, dude. Just from the side, you can see that not only the man hooked it up with one deck, but your boy hooked it up with two decks. Bro! Oh my god, okay, let's get into this thing. First of all, we got stickers falling out the sides. Let's just let's just pull this thing out. Alright. Let's just pull this thing out. These stickers are really cool. Ran out of foam, so he included skate grip. He put on the side, ran out of foam. It's okay. I have foam tape out the butt. Alright, and let's let's put them to the side before we before we read before we get into the decks. This is another sticker. Really, really cool stickers, dude. I really, really enjoy these stickers. God, dropped another stick. Da -da -da. Beautiful stickers. All right, let's read this note. Hey man, hope you enjoy the decks. They're real wear, but I'm still trying to improve it. The rounding on these decks is a new method as well. Enjoy ravioli. I will enjoy. Here it is. Hashtag shop small. Let's get that trending in the comments, guys. Hashtag shop small. Okay, and then he's got all his information as well. There's the Instagram. 
I'll put it like bigger on the screen because it's hard to read. There's the website. All right, let's get into these decks. He said they were real wear, so I assume, well, they obviously are graphics. Look at that, dude. That's really, really cool. Okay, let's look at the first one. This graphic is super nice. Look at this graphic. Such a nice graphic. Mom! Look at this deck, Mom. Isn't this deck super nice? Look at this deck, Mom. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that from? This guy named Robbie Sauce sent it to me. Oh, Look my gosh. The packaging was right What is only. it? <laughs> I'm assuming that he's Italian. I don't know. He might be Italian. Wait, it looks good, though. So he's Italian? Yeah. What's his no, last name? No, I don't know he's, he's so Italian. Oh, his last name's Ravioli. That's not his <laughs> last name, Mom. It's just that he goes by. Oh, my God. That's so cute. The stickers are Ravioli. You're ruining my Latin. What is this? Leave. What is this? This Leave. is so cool. Leave. Oh, it's Ravioli. Leave. It's Ravioli. Leave. Getting into the first deck, the rounding looks really, really nice. Super, super nice and round, which I really, really like. And then the shape also looks super cool. It's a nice low shape with dips that you can see, but not too extreme. It looks very, very mellow. Very mellow. And the plies are just alternating naturals, but it's like there's a light natural and then a dark natural. Let's get into this one. Which, I have no idea what this is. I keep seeing this on your Instagram and I still have no clue what this is supposed to represent or what this means, but it looks like a guy with an extremely long neck. I don't know what he's doing, honestly, but it's a really cool graphic. The top ply is super sick. I'm gonna have to do some kind of cool grip job because look how cool that is. Wow. That is really, really cool. That is super, super cool. And then uh, the shape, of course, is the same, and the size is the same, and super nice rounded. Oh, the holes on here are super nice as well. Very well countersunk holes, too. Honestly, like this one, because it just looks so funny. Like, just the guy's long-ass neck. I just want to laugh every time I see that. And the awesome top ply, too. Yeah, I'm going to set this one up. Uh, probably put some, like, BRTs and, like, flat face wheels on here. And I'm going to give you all a review. So... I'll be back in a bit. So I set up the deck, and it honestly looks really, really good. Like the teak sticker up top just pulls the whole thing together too. The black base plate BRTs, uh, and the black graphic, the black sticker, it just looks so, so nice. Ooh. The white John Cowart G4, Flat face wheels, 32 millimeter black base plate, BRTs, and of course, of course, for this red setup, I had to go with the fire teak tuning. I like to call it fire teak tuning because it looks like fire to me, but you know. And these bushings are fire, but it's red and orange and it looks so beautiful. This setup is just honestly just, oh my gosh, I love this setup. It looks in the new era tape on top, which I have not done a review on, but to say it in short, it's very slim and it's extremely grippy. And I really like slim grip tape. I really like slim grip tape. It's really, really easy to apply. It's like one of the easier tapes to, you know, grip on the actual board, which I really like. But yeah, new era tape is really, really cool. The consensus on this deck. It is a very, very, very wonderful shape. I love the shape of this board. Super mellow, yet has a ton of pop. Love the concave. Very, very nice shape. I will give you that. But one thing that I'm not extremely loving, and this is just a personal preference, like I'm not hating on this company at all, because I know there's a lot of companies that make it like really short decks, but I think this is either a 96 millimeter deck or a 95 millimeter deck. Kind of reminds me of my um, Skim Shape 2.0 sponsor board, which was a 95 slash 96, which trust me, I, I can do tricks on. Super fun. Uh, Super fun length, but you know, let me let me compare these two for you here. The top is the skim. That's the it's a gator mold deck, but you know, it's 95, I think 96. But I don't love the like extremely, extremely short decks. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I will give it this. This is like an extremely fun deck for being so short. 
extremely fun deck. And I know some of y'all love really, really short decks. And this is a very, very nice short deck. It's definitely 33 by 95 uh, for sure. But it's just a really fun deck in general. I really like how it performs. I like a, uh, I like a more like, this is my Collier for example, which is the company I'm sponsored by. I like a more like 34 millimeter deck by like 97, 98 type thing, you know? I like a little bit longer and um, a little bit wider. I like a little bit of a bigger board. I feel like I have more control and more just in general. I don't know. I just really, really prefer bigger, wider boards. And um, this is still a super solid deck for being so small, which is a hard thing to do. One thing that I did notice on here is the tail and the nose are a little short. Usually with the short boards, that's that's that happens. But despite that, this is a really, really solid, really solid short board. Extremely fun if you're a big fan of short shapes and a big fan of like, you know, just really quality decks. Short decks are so much more fun to do tray flips on than longer decks, because it just rotates so fast and fluid. Try Nolly heel test. Okay, that was like terrible, but I'll do it again. That was pretty terrible as well. That was very clean. Nolly heels are very good. I feel like they're easier on shorter decks. That's just me. From what I've experienced with this deck, and what I've experienced with this deck, Nolly Heels are super easy on short boards. But yeah, super, super nice board, really nice craftsmanship, really nice shape. My only gripe is that the tail, not even the nose, the nose is a good length, but the tail is just a tiny bit short for me. I'm sure people can still, you know, do amazing tail slides and, you know, back tail slides and things like that. But I don't know. I'm not very good at tail slides. So it's like I always want like a longer tail so that it's easier for me to land on ledges and whatnot. This is a very fun deck for how short it is. Like when I pop this thing out the bag, okay, I was thinking, man, this deck this deck's kinda short, you know? This deck's not gonna not gonna be all my favorite, but I'm actually very pleasantly surprised by how good the short deck is. Definitely go check out Robbie Sauce, the company. I'm gonna have their Instagram at, I'm gonna have their website, I'll have all the stuff in the link in the description if you guys are interested in picking one up. I think you guys should also go check out Collier, my deck sponsor, in the description below if you like a bit wider, longer decks as well and just overall like the best decks you will ever try in your entire life. That will also be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe for more content, because there will be a lot of stuff coming out very soon. Having a bunch of tutorials as well. I know I've been slacking on my tutorial game, but the tutorials are coming. Thank you for the two decks and the awesome t-shirt, Robbie. Really appreciate you, man. Y'all have a great day. Did you just fart, Teresa? Yeah. Peace.